Hey everyone, I'm Noren Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel and welcome to this 4,000 point game between Sisters of Battle and Slanesh teamed up with Death Watch. Now the story that we have going on here, Inquisitor Lockwood has finally come down to Firecoth to cleanse this planet herself, but a distress beacon was sent out by the Ordo Xenos, the Death Watch, Wanting to aid her comrades, she decided to lead on with this, um, with this investigation, but her acolytes reported foul intent. The sorcerers of Zinch are disguising themselves as Death Watch members. The fallen Watch Fortress, unfortunately possessed armor, now rises to fight against the Sisterhood. The Sisters cannot abide by this and must purify everything. So, 4,000 points, we're doing Dawn of War deployment, and we're just doing kill points because it is literally the easiest mission, especially with this many units on the table. So, let's take a look at these armies, this board, and get to it. So, going over 4,000 points of Sisters of Battle, we have a Brigade Detachment, a Battalion Detachment, and we have this, which is my stand-in for the thing that I forgot the name of. Battle Sanctum. The Battle Sanctum. So we have a Fortification Network. So getting into this, there is a lot. Rosalina is here. She is an Inquisitor. She is using the rules for Inquisitor Cotiaz. In all respects, she has three psychic powers. She has the ability to deny two to three times. I forget what it is, but she's using all the rules for Kotiaz. She took the stratagem and has a warlord trait as well. Uh, the warlord trait gives her the extra psychic power. Standing next to her is Canoness Kane with her Inferno Pistol and Blessed Blade. She has the Iron Surplus as her Relic, and she has Indomitable Belief as her warlord trait. Standing behind her is St. Celestine and St. Junith. Uh, you, they're stock, obviously. Now, this is going to take a while to go through, so we're going to try to do our best. Fifteen sisters, fifteen sisters, fifteen sisters, fifteen sisters, fifteen sisters, two squads of five sisters. In the squads of fifteen, we have two Meltagons, a Simulacrum Imperialis, a Sister Superior with a Combi Flamer and Chainsword. The rest have Bolters. That's the same in all of the Sister Squads that are 15. All of the Sister Squads at 5 women 
have two storm bolters and the sister superior has a chain sword. So there's four squads of those. And then we have a bunch of characters over here. We have three hospitalers and yes, they are supposed to be on 50 mil bases now. It honestly looks hilarious that my old hospitalers look pretty good on those bases. Then we have two units of Repentia. They have the Repentia Chainsword. Nine women apiece. We have a Mistress of Repentance. I don't care what GW tries to call her. That's a Mistress of Repentance. Then we have the Magifier. The, um, she has the two tails. She has the tail of minus one AP. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, just counts as regular AP zero. And she has the plus one strength. Then we have two units of Seraphim. Both squads have a Sister Superior with a Plasma Pistol, a ch uh, Chain Sword. I believe it's Chain Sword. It might actually be Power Sword. I think it actually is Power Sword. I don't think they can take Chain Sword now. And two Inferno Pistols, ten women in each. Standing behind them, we have two Dominion squads, four Melta Guns. Sister Superior has a Chain Sword and a Combi Melta. Then we have three Retributor squads at four heavy bolters apiece. Then we have, what else is in there? We have another Canoness. She is armed exactly the same as Canoness Kane, minus the Warlord trait. Then for transports, we have three Repressor tanks. They have two heavy flamethrowers and a storm bolter. We have an emulator with the wrong turret on it, supposed to have multi maltas. Then we have three Exorcist tanks and two Rhinos. And that is 4,000 points of sisters. I forgot to mention, this is a missionary, uh, the HQ one. And yeah, oh yeah, and the Battle Sanctum. 4,000 points of sisters. So you have 2,000 points of demons. What do we have? All right, so first we have two battalions of Sinesh demons. I'm just going to go over them all at once. So we have six squads of 10 units apiece that I purchased all their upgrades. Next we have a Keeper of Secrets with Soul Stealer, the Contorted Epitome, a Herald of Snesh on a Steed, and an Infernal and Rapturess. Next we have four squads of five Seekers apiece with all their upgrades, and two squads of three Fiends apiece with Blitzbringers. And then after those two battalions, you have one battalion of Chaos Space Marine Word Bearers. We have three squads of 10 Cultists, one of them has a Heavy Stubber. Then we have a Dark Apostle with his two Dark Disciples. This Floating Psyker is going as a Chaos Sorcerer with a Jump Pack and a Force Stave. And then the Warlord is this Demon Prince with Malefic Talons and the Exalted Possession Warlord trait. And Reliquize, Intoxicating Elixir, Book of the Reviler, and the Malefic Tome. Alright. And then, John, you have 2,000 points of Death Watch all over the place. Yeah. Where do you want to start? Uh, I mean, let's start with the Dreadnoughts. Well, what do you have? Battalion? Uh, we have a uh, battalion of, uh, of, uh, just Death Watch. We're just kind of, just keeping it small, so that's about eight, uh... Okay. Man points, uh... Going over HQs first, we have kind of a veritable mob over here, uh, with the Librarian, uh, Watch Captain Artemis, a Chaplain, and Greyfax. Okay, what's the Psychic Powers on Greyfax? Dominate? Just Dominate, yeah. Okay, and, and the Librarian? Uh... Right now I have uh, Wrath of the Ancients, I believe it's called, and, uh, what's it called, uh, Null, Null Zone? Null Zone, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, pretty much what you see is what you get, uh, four sword, uh, bolt pistol. Artemis is Artemis, Chaplin uh, is Chaplin. And Greyfax is Greyfax. Plus All right. Uh, moving on to the Terminators. Uh, Chain Fist Heavy Flamer, Power Fist Storm Bolter, Chain Fist Heavy Flamer, Storm Shield, Thunder Hammer, uh, Power Maul, Storm Shield. Okay. Uh, moving on to the Vanguard Veterans. Power Sword, Storm Shield, Heavy Thunder Hammer, uh, Hand Flamer, Chain Sword, uh, Thunder Hammer, Storm Shield, Twin uh, Lightning Claws. And that's the Sergeant with the Twin Lightning Claws, right? I know, it's the Sergeant with the... Oh, with that? I, I, okay. made, a, I made a mistake. It's the... the Sergeant can't take the lightning claws for some reason. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and he is the one with the thunder claws. Uh, uh, bikes, twin bolt gun, twin bolt gun, twin bolt gun, twin bolt gun. 
uh, Power Sword, Power Sword. Uh, that is not a single page blade. He dipped it in Mountain Dew. Uh, and the sergeant over here has the Storm Bolter. And this guy just has a Bolter. This guy just has a Bolter. Okay. Uh, moving on to the Dreadnought, we have uh, three Venerable Dreadnoughts. Uh, twin Last Cannon, Twin Last Cannon. Uh, Storm Bolters on both or Flamers on both? Uh, flamers on both. Okay. Uh, here we have the another. We're running this guy as a uh, Venerable Dreadnought with the uh, Plasma Cannon. Yeah. And just a regular and a close combat weapon with the heavy flamer. Okay. And then we have the Deradeo Dreadnought. Or not not Deradeo. Redemptor. 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 <laughs> so I was thinking about Doritos. Uh, with the uh, plat, it's kind of plasma cannon and then the uh, grenade launcher and the uh, bolters. I I'm trying to remember what they're called. Uh, I just so got... he has the underslung Gatling gun. Yeah. Um, and his nipple guns are. Firestorm grenade launchers. Okay. Uh, moving on to the uh, tech, uh, the standard veteran squads, uh, bolt gun, Infernus heavy flamer, plasma pistol, plasma sword, or power sword, uh, heavy bolter, uh, xenophage oh, blade. Oh, that's a, that's a grenade launcher. Yeah, yeah frag cannon. Frag cannon, uh, xenophage blade storm bolter, that is the uh, sergeant, Infernus heavy bolter, bolter. And the squad in front? Uh, squad in front, storm bolter, uh, uh, power sword, heavy thunder hammer, heavy thunder hammer, uh, storm shield, uh, power sword, uh, dual chain swords, uh, bolter. Okay, and then we have one more squad. Yep, uh, kind of our kind of frontliners. Uh, frag cannon, frag cannon, storm shield, storm bolter, melt a gun, stalker bolter. All right. And then two razorbacks. With uh. With ally mode, all uh, with everything on them. Everything, including the hunter killers. Oh my god. All right. So that is 4,000 points of Slanesh and Death Watch. So we finished deploying an hour later. I have the triple exorcist over here, a hospitaler here. All of the characters lined up here surrounded by 45 sisters. We built a wall of armor <laughs> around us. These sisters are holding out the line. We have the hospitaler. It's probably going to get actually get moved over to here. No, she's good right there. In reserve, I have two squads of Sephirim. And yeah, this is going to be crazy. We have three squads of heavy bolters up top. And on the other squad, on the other side, you can actually see all the dice that are marking what's in what tank. So we have this in tank four, this in tank three. Joining them, we have two squads of sisters. Then we have tank five, which is right here and is filled with two squads of battle sisters. One and two are filled with Repentia, the missionary and the mistress of repentance. And on the other side, we have bikes, bodies, tanks, dreadnoughts. In reserve, we have a group of terminators. And then we have the wall of Slanesh coming towards us. With Aaron. Rolling the most important thing ever, seeing if I seize the initiative. Oh, I do not. Demons and Death Watch. Turn one. End of movement phase. The demons got closer and started their pool towards the sisters. The Death Watch stayed still, waiting. They have range, but the bikers moved up. Now we go into Psychic Phase. So, end of Psychic Phase. The Contort the Epitome smited this thing for four damage. Di um, the Lightful Agnes was cast onto him. Wait, hold up. Sorry. I forgot he has to do Death Watch Strength on himself. I yep, go ahead. That. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't get it. I do have the um, Sacred Rite that gives me plus three to my Deny the Witch, mm -hmm. which I actually use to deny the life lagnies on that creature over there. And with that, the Psychic Phase is over. Start a shooting phase. I'm paying two command points, dropping myself down to 18 to prepared positions. Starting with the Venerable Dreadnought shooting its twin last cannon into this vehicle. Okay, needing twos to hit because you didn't move. That is both miss. Is Artemis near him? Yes. Yep, 
Reroll those. That is two hits. Strength nine. Toughness seven, looking for threes. That's going to be two wounds. Prepared positions lowers that to from a six up to a five up. And I will make neither. Go ahead and roll damage, 2d6. And that Ooh. is 10 damage. First shots ring out and kill this vehicle. Does it explode? It does not. Ooh. There's nobody inside it, so unfortunately, the emulator is destroyed. Now you have another last cannon going into what? Uh, this one. Okay. Hitting on twos, both hit. Wounding on threes. That is one wound. One five plus save. I will make it. The Redemptor Dreadnought's putting everything into the Repressor. That is supercharged. Ooh, supercharging it. So two shots. Hitting on threes. That's two hits. Strength eight, I believe, when it's supercharged. Strength nine. Strength nine, okay. Winning on threes. Uh, that is one wound, AP minus. Now, is that a pass attack option? No, it isn't. It's okay. transport. AP? Uh, AP is minus four. Six up save. Emperor protects. No, complete opposite. How much damage? Uh, two. Down to ten wounds. Some light fire from over here did nothing. I actually forgot. I have the Battle Sanctum, a Warlord, and another sister in the start of the battle round. So I actually had three um, Faith Dice. So I get a four, a three, and a one. And we're just going to go ahead and keep these right next to my score sheet. Plasma Cannon off of the Venerable Dreadnoughts. Supercharging D3 shots. That's going to be two shots. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. And this is into the Repressor. Yep. That is two hits. Strength eight now. Uh, it is strength... Uh, no, it's fine. Strength eight, yes. Okay, wounding on threes. That is going to be one wound. Six up save. Come on, Pablo. Uh, that is a complete miss, and that is two damage. Down to eight. Twin last cannon from the Razorback into the Repressor. Hitting on threes, that's one hit. Wounding on threes. Well, that is no wound. Hunter Killer Missile now into this. Hitting hit. on threes. Rerolling because of Artemis. That is a hit. Strength eight. Wounding on threes. That is a wound. Four up save because AP minus two plus one for cover. And we will make it. Right. Now we have another Hunter Killer coming into it. That's a hit with a four. That is a wound. And we make the save. Dang. So now the bikes in the corner are going to shoot up at the uh, Retributors. Hitting on threes. And that is a ton of wound, ton of hits. Wounding on twos because of Hellfire. I think we're doing that correct. We might be doing that wrong. Uh, I'm, I'll check to see if they get special ammunition because there's a lot of things they have don't actually get special ammunition. Well, I don't know if you can get uh, Bolter Discipline and Special Issue Ammunition. Uh, we don't get Bolter Discipline. Yes, you do. Yeah, you get bolted discipline. Oh, but only if you don't use it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we did that wrong. So let's go ahead and re-roll this real quick. Um, yeah, re-roll it. Let's do it on... Because you want to get all of the shots, right? Yeah. You're wounding on threes. So hitting on threes, that's going to be two misses. About the same amount as last time. Yep. And then roll those to wound. You need threes. Okay. That's pretty much exactly the same. That's four. Actually, six wounds. I couldn't see the other two. I'm seeing it two up saves. And none of them take a wound. So with that, and one loss, we end the shooting phase. So that's going to be a lot of charging over here. We're just going to get back to you with the results of it to make sure that this battle report goes by a little bit smoothly. With Overwatch, we managed to kill two of them. One with a melt gun, one with a bolter. And now they have a 9-inch charge. Alright, they get plus 1 and they can re-roll it. Okay. That's... 8. So, so that nine is 9. Inch. Do you want to roll it to get better or no? I'm... It's pretty cramped. There's not much else they could do with Alrighty. it there. So I'm just going to... Boop. Uh, Boop. And make sure you stay 1 inch away. Yep. So you might want to add... There you go. Perfect. Alright. Actually, there's only going to be one charge this turn. 
So, the Heralds, uh, the Seekers versing the Sisters, go ahead and do their attacks. Uh, Alright, so threes to hit. That's uh, a good amount of hits. Alright. Only two missed. Alright, strength three. Winning on fours. Isn't that funny to say? Yeah. And those sixes, that one six is going to be right, a six so up save. AP minus one. So I fail one save regardless. Right, and then three AP minus ones. And then three. And that's going to be one dead. All right, now for the tongues. Ooh. Two, two. Um, okay, tonguey tongues. All right, hitting on threes. That's three go through. Strength four, so wounding on threes. Mm hmm. That is two wounds, no AP. Three up. One gets tongue to death. Blech. I mean, if that's a way to go. That's a way to go. All right, so I'm going to do my attacks back. So, a bunch of attacks hitting on fours initially. Three now because of Martyred Lady. So we fell one, hit with the rest. Strength three because I'm not, I am within range of my banner, so I'm strength four, wounding on threes. Which actually makes a huge difference. Actually it makes two difference, but still, that's right. huge for me. That's two more Seven, zero. Nurgle demands. All right. That's You're still warp surged. I'm trying to remember if I am still warp surged. Warp surged. Oh, there's that's till the end of the phase, so now they have five ups. And they make none of them. Okay, so they're dead. Yep, that kills the unit. And that is first strike for me, first strike for John, well your team. Okay. And with that, we end turn one. Going into sisters, turn one. Things that I forgot to mention, I did spend a command point to give her a Warlord trait, and she got the Beacon of Faith. So at the start of your turn, you gain one uh, Miracle Dice, but I did that during the start of the battle round, so that was my bad. So at the start of battle rounds, there's John's foot, we have one for the Sanctum, one for the start of the battle round, and one for this, uh, this Cannoness. End of movement phase. Stood still. Stayed in reserve. Stayed in reserve. Stayed inside their vehicles for the most part. Stayed still. Stayed still. Stayed still. Over here, all of these sisters moved up. This squad advanced. Everything else just moved up normally. The two vehicles there advanced. So the girls inside technically count as advanced. So they're going to be hitting on fours. Yeah, hitting on fours. So I'm going to try to take down one of those vehicles, maybe. Um... Maybe. If not, they're going to put all their weapons into them. Over here, all of these girls moved up. The vehicle moved up just slightly. I'm going to try to take out a few of those Seeker squads. So, let's go straight into Psychic Phase, because I actually have one of those. Rosalina's going to dominate one of the members of that Vanguard Veteran Squad. Does she get it? She doesn't. She doesn't? Hmm. Ah. No, she doesn't. That's actually climactic. That's all right. So with that, and knowing that Slaneshi stuff has uh, devious little tricks like possession and everything, I'm gonna Me. I'm gonna take my chances of not casting psychic powers in range of Slanesh. So let's go ahead and go straight to shooting phase. Uh -oh. Starting up the shooting phase, the Rhino has actually killed off two members there. I was really surprised by that. These girls shot into the key the seekers, did nothing. This thing shot in and killed one so far, and now we have ten shots with the flamethrowers. Wounding on threes. So we got seven wounds. Seven five up saves. And that is all but two of them. So five damage. So that's gonna be oh no, oh her potent tail thing's broken, but whatever. Alright. Then I'll take the banner. And then one of them just has a wound. Okay. These girls right here are going to fire into the same squad. This unit managed to deal six wounds to that. Roll your saves. And that is going to be... One, two, three, one, four. So that'll... Okay. So from the inside here, we have two squads of battle sisters. 
We have four Storm Bolters, which are going to go into that squad. Then we have two Bolters, which are going to go into that squad. So four shots from Bolter. He's going to hit all four times. Wounding on threes. That is going to be three wounds. Go ahead and give me three saves. I just, just, I just three just on that one. Oh, <laughs> and she is dead. And that is one more squad dead. Oh, correction. Then I guess all of it is at that, if that's okay. All right. So, oh, when you ask why you mean that, or? Yeah, because I can't shoot at her. She's the herald. Yeah, because like you wiped out that squad. This one, I were just healing. Okay. So then we have all the storm bolters into them. Yeah. Storm bolters manage ten damage there. Let's see if we get some saves. And that is a lot of five ups. Actually, it's two. Three. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is two, four, six, seven. That is the squad wiped out. Right. So both these things advance so they can fire their their assault weapons. Now, as per the FAQ, the girls inside are treated in the exact same manner as the vehicle, meaning they can shoot their assault weapons at, AP, at minus one to hit. So we're going to put all ten melty guns into the uh, keeper. Oof. So you're going to warp surge, which I already planned for, and she doesn't have feel no pain right now, so this is my best chance of killing her. Mm. So here we go. On fours. That's eight. Wounding on threes. That is going to be two, four, six. Slanesh demands. Six, five up saves. Four up. Four up saves. Thanks to Warp Surge. And you're going to make four of them. Four go through. Do you want to command point any of these? Uh, sure, I'll command point this one. Okay, so three make it through, so I don't think I can kill it now. Unless I roll triple sixes. You might. You know what? We're gonna have... I know exactly the three to do this. Pablo, Isaac, and Simon. Okay. Let's see what happens. And of course, Isaac's the most disappointing one. But that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wounds to it. Alright, that brings it down to five. Whew. One Retributor Squad is gonna fire into the Keeper. All right, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because there's a cannon S nearby. We get two re-rolls. And out of that, three mists. Now we're looking for fives. Okay. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know whose number five is, but there's five. Five, four up saves. They all um, okay, so the second Retributor Squad is going to shoot into her. Oh, she's so powerful, though. Yeah, the second one's going to shoot into her. Twelve shots, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones. This is a much better volley. Everything hits. Wounding on fives. That is one, two, three wounds. Three four up saves. She takes two. Takes two. She's down to three wounds. Ooh. The last Retributor squad is gonna shoot her. Twelve shots hitting on three. Rerolling ones. There's two ones here. And then wounding on fives. That is still only three. Enough to take her down. Let's see what happens. She goes down, and the Keeper is removed from this plane of existence, banished back into the Immaterium. I don't. <laughs> this Exorcist is going to fire its Exorcist Missile Launcher into the big giant Dreadnought. 3d3 shots. We got two, four, five shots. Hitting on threes. That's going to be all but one. Strength 8, Toughness 7, Wounding on 3s. That is going to be 3 AP minus 3 wounds. So 3 6 up saves. Pats is none of them. D6 damage apiece. Ah, that is not much. 
This exorcist's heavy bolter is out of range of everything and can't see the one thing that is in range. This one's going to fire now. Its missiles are going to go into that dreadnought. Its heavy bolter is going to go into them. The heavy bolter first. Uh, we get a reroll because of the cannon S into that. Wounding on a three. That is a wound. One four up save or three up if you use a storm shield. Using a storm shield? Yeah. Okay. Makes it. 3d3 shots into the dreadnought. We're going to get two. All right, so that's. Holy cow, that's a lot. I think that's six. Yeah, that's six. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. I had to double check that three times because I didn't believe my math. Hitting on. Hitting on threes. Re rolling ones, but two miss. Wounding on four. On threes. And that is going to be four wounds. AP minus three, so six up saves. And that is gonna be none. none. So four D6 damage. It is destroyed. The Does it explode? Come on, blow up. No. So the dreadnought is removed. Yikes. The last one is gonna fire its exorcist missile into that dreadnought right there and it's heavy bolter into them. All right, three shots and a heavy bolter. We got two hits. Coming on threes, two wounds. Two saves on these guys using three ops. That is one fail, one of the storm shields just died. Yeah. Okay, let's go with 3d3 shots. We got three, four, five. Hitting on threes, three rolling ones. That is going to be four hits, wounding on threes, and that is going to be two wounds. Six up save for that dreadnought. Two of them. Made one. D6 damage. That is three damage. And with that, I believe we're done with my first turn. The sisters had a pretty devastating first turn volley. Destroyed the Dreadnought, destroyed the Keeper, destroyed two units of Seekers. What can Slanesh and Deathwatch do to retaliate? At the start of the round, I got three Miracle Dice. Got a four, a one, which I re-rolled into a three, and then a four. End of movement phase. Terminators came in over here. The Death Watch moved up over here with the bikes. The two bros came down. All of this pretty much stayed still for the most part. Demonettes started climbing up the wall. Demon Prince jumped up here. The Sorcerer jumped up here. The Fiends decided that their brethren, the Seekers, were not good enough. And they rushed through to deal with this threat. The Contour of the Epitome Stide, uh, striding with them. On the other side, the Seekers went with the Herald to go over here. And all the demons migrated this way. Alright, so, we took a, a few hour break. And uh, went and did some chores and uh, got more gay bacon. And proceeded into the psychic phase. So, where are we starting? Well, let's see. Sorcerer casting Death Hex on these sisters right here. Alright, going off my 8, he gets plus 1, so it's 7. Getting That's it eight. with an 8. Alright, I so. am going to attempt to deny it with this unit of sisters. Alright. So, on a 6, I will deny it, because I'll have a 9. I do not. Alright, so this unit can take in both saves. Oh, that's a, that's a pickle. Right. Okay. Now for his second power, he's going to cast Gift of Chaos on that unit of sisters. Okay. Going that's off on the five for him. That is four. It does not go off. Now, Demon Prince is going to put Diabolic... Wait, no. Did I give him? He's going to put Diabolic Strength on himself. Okay. Actually, what's the toughness of that? Seven. Okay. All right, so his roll is a good chance. So on second thought, he's just going to smite into it. Okay. All right. Going to five. Goes off. I am going to attempt to deny it with the uh, unit of sisters right here. All right. Four, five, six, seven. So I do yep, deny you it. You deny. 
and out. Next up is the contorted epitome. What did she get again? All right. All right, so now the contorted epitome is going to put Symphony of Pain on these sisters. Going That's rude. Five. That's ten. Ten? Oh, that, that, I don't that, 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 that perils. Hold up. Wait, does it peril? Yeah, it... Oh, no, no, I'm used to doubles, sorry. Yeah, no, only no, perils yeah, on Ones and sixes, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just used to making other stuff peril on doubles, so yeah, that just goes off on a ten. You're going to try and deny it. What does it do? It puts the minus one to hit on them. They already got plus one to hit, so they'd go back to fours. Mm -hmm. I think that's okay. Right, so something is pain. And then, once I get control of he's going to put Paving of Slanesh on them, going off on the five. That is 11, so I roll a d6 for each model. On a six, they take a I am one. going to spend a command point and try to deny that on a four plus. Right. I am going to spend another command point to reroll that. You boy. God damn it, Isaac. All right, how many sisters? Down to 14 command points. All right. Oh, and I actually got one. I got a um, Miracle Dice for Denying Witch, and it's a one. So 13 sisters in that unit, looking for sixes. That's one... Mortal one. Wound? Yep, there's one wound. One. So one sister does die. All right, so let's see, the epitome, the demon prince. The now we have the herald over here. So is this going to be a smite? Okay. Let's see, that was one so far. Be at six. Goes off on an eight. I can attempt to deny it. Alright. Come on, work for me. Five, six, seven, eight, so yep, no. Nope. Right. It goes off. D3. D3. That's two. It's two sisters do die. Okay. Might have heroes went off on the dreadnought from the psyker over here. And with that, we go into the shooting phase. All right. Sonic Blast. Okay. All right. Doing the single shot? Yep. And let's see, she had, she had bat, so this is on a three up. Doesn't what? Is she close enough to the, get the regal from the DP? No, she is not close enough. All right, so then uh, Demon Prince with the Warp Bolter is going to fire into the sister squad. Yeah, she is not close enough. All right, so Warp Bolter into sisters. Demon Prince killed two sisters with shooting gonna fire into this and it's uh flamer can't hit anything no so it's when last cannon that is two hits wounding on threes that is one wound one six up save we don't make it d6 damage for one oof all right just going down the line we're gonna fire the twin link last cannon on the from the uh razorback okay it's two hits Wounding on threes. That is two wounds. So we got two saves of six plus. We'll make it none of them. And that is going to be four damage. Dropping it down to two. Stormbolter into it, four shots. That is two rerolls because of Artemis. Thank you, Artemis. That is two hits. Wounding on fives, that's one. And I fail it. It's down to one wound. Twin last cannon off of this into this one. That is two hits. That is no wounds. Oof. D3 shots from the plasma gun here into it. Plasma cannon. So it's three shots. Hitting on threes. Or hitting on twos. And wounding. And these were overcharged? Supercharged, yeah. Okay. So wounding on fours. Or threes. That is two saves. I'll reroll that one for being topped. That is three saves. I have two dice in my hand. Needing sixes for Shield of Faith. No. And yes, so two go through for four damage to it. Repressor is down to eight wounds. So the cultists all shot into this. They threw a grenade into this. He shot into this. And it's still alive. Oh, and the heavy bolters, storm bolters off of that, shot into this. And it is still here. Artemis is firing into it. Good two time. shots. Two, one hit, one reroll. Miss, so one hit. Needing a five. Gets the five. Makes it. Alright, I'm, I'm done playing with you. 
Frag, let's start off with the Infernus Heavy Bolter. Where are all the guns going? All of them are going into this. Okay, you want that detonated. I want the Heavy Bolters. Okay. Hitting on threes. And oh. you might not be close enough. You might, yeah, you're close enough. You're close enough. That is all but one. I want this thing dead. I want it dead. Hey, that's rude. And that is two wounds. So, two saves. We'll make both. All right. It's AP is minus one because of heavy bolter. Now the frag cannons into it. So it's a let's see, it's assault twos. And you have what two in there? I have two. Okay, so four shots. Hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. No, I have three in there. Wait, let's see. No, that's Only two. Start with these. Uh, it should be four shots, shouldn't it? Uh... Two more shots. All hit. Strength. Strength is six. Oh, oh, and it automatically hits its target. If it's one. yeah, those are the frag rounds, not the other rounds. Three, strength seven. Winning on fours. That is going to be one. Two. Two wounds. AP minus. AP minus one. Or two. AP minus one or two. What two. is what is it? Two. The wording is really weird. On okay. Me. So that would put us at a five up. I don't have a five over there. So we need two five ups right now. And we will not make either of them. And the vehicle is destroyed. And does not explode. Two of the sisters died. I took away two bolter sisters from the sister squad. The dominions got out unscathed. And this vehicle is destroyed. This unit now is going to fire. Where is it putting its guns? Uh, sister squad. Into the sisters, not the dominions. Uh, dominions have melted guns. Sisters have storm bolters. Yeah, you know, they can shoot the cultists all they want. I'll just shoot the dominions. Okay. So what are we firing first? Uh, we'll start off with the, the bolters. So it's four shots? Yep. Because they did not move. Uh, that is a cocked dice. Yep. So that is two misses, two hits. Wounding on six, or wounding on twos because of hellfire ammunition. Yep. That's two wounds. Alrighty, so we're gonna do our two three up saves. Gonna make them both. Yikes. Now the frag cannon into the dominions. That's two hits. That is two wounds, AP minus. AP minus uh, two. So that would be five ups. Uh, actually, they have a four up invulnerable save. Correct. Uh, no, they only have a five up invo save. I don't think they're in range of Juna. Ooh. Yeah, so only a four up. Or only a five up. Do I want them to take the risk? I don't have any fives, unfortunately, so two of them die. So with that, the Sister Superior and one melt gun is gone. So next up we have the bike shooting. Yep. They are putting all of their shots into the 15 women Sister Squad here. 15 shots. Hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. Rerolling the one because of troops. Mission objective. Okay, so that's 10 wounds. 10 three up saves. And we're gonna lose one sister. Are you serious? Yeah, apparently. Jeez. So one sister dies. Terminators finished up their shooting phase with the storm bolter into the sisters, but didn't manage to do anything. And now we go into charge phase. I can charge over that, right? Yes. So how many inches is that? Looks like, what, four inches at best? They're gonna make it. I do get an overwatch, but go ahead and move into combat. Smash, Sergeant. Okay. He's, um... There we go. Okay. So, all of this is all the bolter shots. Storm bolter and two storm bolters and one bolter. Hitting on threes. Uh, hitting on threes, hitting on sixes. So that's one hit. 
Wounding on a four, that is a wound. One three up save for those Vanguard. Ooh. Uh, they would have gotten the two up from the um, barracks on the other side of it. So they're good, they're good. Yeah. Bikes are gonna charge into the sisters. So these guys made it into combat here. I dealt one damage to them, which was saved. Now we have the f combats over right, here. So first, this pack of fiends into this group of sisters. Okay, go ahead and roll the distance. Then I'll roll my overwatch. You are definitely making it. So the fiends went into this, I dealt one wound. And now these fiends are charging into the repressor. So the fiends did make it into combat, but one is completely dead and one lost a wound. Alright, now the tour to the epitome into the sisters and the rhino. Okay, no overwatch. So does she make it? Need against minimum of four. She makes it with a ten. Alright, see. So Boop. She wanna get the white face in there. Alright. Now seekers into these sisters. Okay, so I'm gonna overwatch. From the ones I could see, we managed to deal one wound here. Alright, that's about... Seven. Looks like seven inches. Yeah, looks like seven inches. Alright, plus one... Looks like eight inches, actually. Alright. So, seven. Five, six, seven, eight, you're good. Falls up to nine. So, I'll just... Boop! Boop! that's a boop. This creature just made a 12-inch charge into here. There. All right. So, the Demon Prince is going to charge the Repressor, this, this, and her. Needing a 9-inch charge, I have one shot from Overwatch. I hit. I don't wound, but that was still kind of cool that she hit. Needing a 9. Does not make that, it. That does not make it, no. Alright, Demon Prince got scared of that bolt pistol. It was like, oh crap. Was... Oh, the, oh, the pacifist. <laughs> yeah. Stick to your old sister. Alright, and do, do, do that's, that's all from me. Contour to the Pitomy is going to hit these sisters. Getting a reroll from the DP. So that's, that's two hits with the tentacles. Two hits, strength six, so wounding on twos. That is two wounds. Two wounds, AP minus two. Five up saves. No, no, death hex. Oh, no, that's out oh, of the normal save. Oh, the minus two, my bad. Yeah, no saves, so it's no. two more dead. Alright. And now the Ravenous Claws. Three down twos. Rerolling the one. Because DP. All right, that's still the one. one. Okay, now, same strength, so we'll need on twos. Alright, no sixes, so AP minus one for each one. So we got a couple of four up saves here. I'm going to use an Act of Faith to automatically pass one. So we're down one of these. Okay, and we'll uh, fail three of them. Seekers going into here. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So let's see this. Hitting on twos or threes? Threes. Threes. All right, so miss. miss Glad you're not hitting on twos. Miss, yeah. <laughs> All right, next up. Let's see, strength four because of the herald, so we'll need on threes. Yep. Alright, so... No sixes, but fives. Yeah, so, yeah. Five four-up saves. Do want to use an act of faith to auto-pass one? I think we will, because it's Simulacrum Imperialis. Mm. So we'll lose another four plus. And we'll only lose one sister. Alright. One sister falls. Yes. Now the tongues, two attacks apiece. Let's see, miss... Miss, miss. Alright. Now these are just flat strength four, nothing from the Herald. Alright. That is two wounds, no AP. Threes? I'll That's make both. both. Alrighty. Now the Herald? Yep, now for the Herald. Four attacks. Hitting on twos. Three hits, strength five, wounding on threes. That's two wounds, no AP. Alright, wave your nice one. Oops. Fours, make both. Alright, tongue attacks, hitting on twos. That's one hit. One hit, strength four. No damage. No damage. It's another. 
So the fiends went through and ripped apart most of the sisters. There's two left in that unit. These two fiends knocked this repressor down to five wounds. All right, so we took a beating. This sister unit got knocked down to two members. This one's at three members. This one lost five girls, six girls this phase, but I pulled them out of combat. Now we need leadership tests across the board. So this unit lost three. They're good, and I get a miracle dice from that. That's exactly what I was looking for, which is a one. Awesome. I, I love getting ones. I'm going to command point it. I love getting ones. Why would I not get ones? That's unfortunate. All right, so down to 13. Okay. This unit lost six. They're going to use Kotiaz's leadership. So Rosalina has them at a 10, and they're going to fail by one. So one more sister dies. Okay, so, hmm, I don't want to handle this. I'm going to activate them, give them a one so they pass. Uh, actually, it'd still kill one. It's not worth it. We're just going to let them die. Okay, so I just had to finish the combat over here and over here. We dealt one wound over there, as well as dealing a few wounds over here, and we killed uh, one of the Seekers which is good. Everything over here passed morale. We lost a couple of girls over here. And that was it. So now we go into sisters. Turn two. End of movement phase in a very, very, very long thought movement phase. These girls who did not retreat from combat because I pulled them out of combat from casualties Moved over this way. The two hospitalers moved over. One hospitaler resurrected a girl there. The rhino, while it was here, disgorged the sister Repentia and the mistress. I'm really tempted to say something really, really, really dumb about the mistress. Do it. No, I'm not going to. Rosalina moved up. Canon S. Kane right beside her. This battled sister squad moved up to try to deal with the two threats over here. Meanwhile, on the other side of the board, the Immagifier moved up, the Hospitaller moved up, resurrected a sister from this unit. Uh, or was this unit? It was this unit. And then they moved back out of combat. These Repentia, when the Rhino was over here, just um, got out. These girls here all got out, or didn't get out. There's actually a squad inside there still. Do I want them out? No, not yet. Storm bolters. Might be useful. But they'd be out of line of sight of everything. I think this is more than enough to deal with a couple of fiends and some seekers. Celestine and St. Junith both flew up to deal with the demon prince. And with that, we go into the shooting phase. So from up here, one of the sister superiors shot and killed a vanguard veteran. Four of them just shot into there, dealing a bunch of wounds. We need a couple of saves. It was six? It was uh, seven. Seven saves. Nurgle demands. What do we have? Uh, that is... Wow, quite a bit of saves. Looks like only one guy dies. Yeah. All right. And it's going to be... You know the next squad of Retributors is going to do the same thing. The Sister Superior into him. Four of the Heavy Bolters into that kill team. Sister Superior over here killed the last Vanguard veteran. And now we have five wounds into the Death Watch kill team in the back. That looks to be one, two dead. So you lost the Stalker Bolter last time. Lost a Multi Gun. And I'm going to say we lost uh, one of the Frag Cannons. Okay. The last squad of Retributors is going to fire into the same kill team. From the last sister squad, we managed to deal 8 damage here. So go ahead and roll it for us. Okay. It looks like 1, 2, 3 dead. As far as I can see. Yes. Yeah. So that's how many did? 3. You know what, I'll keep the guy with the... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to keep Cypher alive. Okay. Next up, this squad is going to fire into the bikes. The biggest thing is the two melted guns going in first. 
You need threes, actually twos because we're martyred lady. And then we're wounding on threes because toughness five, which is one wound, AP minus four, so no save whatsoever. 2d6, pick the highest for the result, and that's going to be four damage and kill one biker. One bike over here dies. Yeah, it's going to be the uh, sergeant, or the, not the uh, guy with out of melee weapon that's not the sergeant. Okay. Next up, we're going to throw a crack grenade into there. Hitting on a three. Uh, Rerolling because of the cannon S, and it's hitting on a two. And then wounding on a five. Actually, a three because it's strength six. AP minus two. So go ahead and roll it. How many hits? Just one. It's going to cut through him. It's AP minus one, so he's good. Now I have a bunch of bolt pistols and a ton of other things to go through. It is only now that I've realized that I forgot my psychic phase. <sighs> I always forget my psychic phase. All right. So they shot in and killed another bike. Now, Cannon S. Kane is going to fire in with her Inferno pistol. Hitting on a two, rerolling ones. That is a hit. Wounding on threes. That is a one. Oh, do I want to command point it? Uh, no. The two melted guns and the combi flamer from this unit are going to go into the bikes. All the bolters are going to go into the terminators. The two melted guns. Do I want to guarantee a hit? Um, yeah, I can guarantee a hit. I'm going to use up the two that's sitting here. Now here's a question. If I use a one, do I get to re-roll it with a cannon S? Two melted gun shots hitting on twos. Or actually, one guaranteed hit, one other. Which rolls a 1 into a 1. Perfect. Rolling to a wound with the other melted gun that hit thanks to the miracle dice. It's going to cut through him. 2d6, pick the highest. I will pick the 6 damage and kill a bike. One of the bikes just died. Yeah, so the miracle dice are used as if they're rolled. If I roll a 1 and I'm hitting on 2s, I can re-roll it with a cannon S. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, it says right here. A miracle dice is not a modifier or an inherently modified dice, so if you use a miracle dice with a value of 1 for something, it is considered to be an unmodified roll of 1. Neat. So I can re-roll it. That's dirty. Okay, so now we have the combi flamer. It's going to double tap with its bolts hitting on 3s. It would hit on 2s normally, but I'm firing both profiles. So it's devil 6s. That's definitely a hit. Now roll double 5s. One five, one six. So, that is one save on that guy. Three up. Come on, Sergeant. Come it's on. Jenkins' last day. He takes a wound. Flamer. Three shots. Looking for fives. That is one wound. AP minus nothing. Three up save. He is dead. Yikes, Sergeant. Why? We're going to spend a command point here so these girls can shoot. We are down to 12 command points. Before I do that, I'm actually going to finish shooting with the bolters. So the bolters here did 7 wounds to those terminators. That's 7 2-up saves. 7 2-up saves. That is going to be... Uh, that's a cock dice for the one. Because I know you can't balance that. Alright, that is no damage. So here we're going to start with the bolt guns into them and one frag grenade. So the frag grenade first, it's gonna be six shots. That's actually ridiculous. Looking for threes to hit, actually twos to hit. That is all of them but one. And then their toughness three, correct? Uh, okay. So fours. And that is going to be three wounds for the demonettes. All right. And that is... Two wounds. So one of these is... I meant to say seekers, not demonettes. Ah, so. That is my bad. In case you wanted to warp surge them, you can. Mm, no, not the ones I want to warp surge. Yeah, I, I think you're demon... Oh, wait, you can't demon prince it. Uh... Yeah, it's... It's clear it says if a stratagem targets a demon, it has to be from the faction. Yeah. So now we're going to do the bolt guns into them. Mm. 11 wounds were dealt. Let's see 11 saves. And they are wiped out. 
Yeah, and they made so many saves. So. Oh yeah, that's a herald. Yeah. This sister unit is going to fire into the fiends. You're spending the command points to warp surge them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the bolters first. The bolt guns managed to deal 13 wounds. 13 saves on 4 up because of warp surge. But I think that's still enough to kill most of them. Oh, let's see. Two and then... One goes down, oh. goes down to two wounds. Oh, so close. Two melted guns. Two hits. Uh, that is one wound and Junith. They're toughness four, right? Yes. Junith, it's two wounds. Two four-up saves. Oh, Makes wow, both. double sixes. We're going to rapid fire a storm bolter into it. So four shots, uh, two hits, and double sixes. Slanesh demands the pain. Let's go. One, one wound. Oh wow, it's down to a single wound. Uh, the Amaga Fire is going to rapid fire her bolter into it. Getting desperate on fours. That's two wounds. Save. Wow, okay. This is getting risky. I don't think I have anything else. Oh my god, I have a Ministorum priest with a shotgun. Hobo with a shotgun? This is not the hobo with the shotgun, I but... I you have a hobo with a shotgun. Shotgun! That misses. This is okay. Um... Wow, I, I think I have to leave that fiend at one wound and assault it. Which is weird. Meanwhile, in the other game... <laughs> Three melted guns are going to go into this dreadnought right here. Hitting on twos. Uh, that is a cock dice. That is all hits. Wounding on threes. Do I want to guarantee any of these? That would be my miracle dice for the turn. No, this is fine. That is two wounds. AP minus four. So cutting right through his armor. So, 2d6 damage, because I'm not in melter range. <sighs> That's seven wounds. I could potentially kill it right now, but I think I already spent my command point reroll. So that is seven damage to it. Set things down to three wounds. You do get feel no pain against these. That is correct. Eight wounds. I'm leaving everything at one wound. All right, eight saves. Eight six ups. You ignore one of its damage, it looks like. Yep. Okay. So it has two wounds remaining. Inside the repressor, we have a battle sister squad as well as a dominion squad. The dominion squad is going to fire four of its melted guns into this dreadnought. And then we're going to fire a, a storm bolter into this to try to kill it. So we have four shots hitting on four uh, threes. And these are the Storm Bolter into the Weakened Dreadnought. We're going to roll triple ones, which is awesome. And no damage. Then we have five Melty Guns into this guy. Hitting on threes. That is going to be all but one. Wounding on fours because you T8 right now. And that is going to be two going through it. And there's no way you can prevent that damage, at least right now. So the first one is going to be five damage. And the second one is going to be four damage. So a total of nine wounds on it. Yep. Nine six up saves against it. So nine six ups. If you don't make any of the... You made one. He's down to a single wound. Yikes! What is up with this and being at one wound to pop? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna be risky with this. We're gonna take a storm bolter into him. It's actually wounding on sixes. I think I I think I want a flamethrower, double flame one of the dreads and try to kill him. I think I'm gonna double flame this dreadnought and storm bolter into Zypher. 
because Zypher. So Stormbolter is going to hit twice, and it's not going to wound him. You don't care. Okay. Then we have the two flamethrowers into this dreadnought right here. And that is going to be three shots. Uh oh. And that is one wound. Wow. Okay. So one four up save. And that has made it. So the first of the exorcist is going to fire into that dread and its heavy bolter into this girl. Wait, she's a character. So into this. Three shots with a heavy bolter. Hitting on threes. All hit. Wounding on threes, because toughness four. That is one wound. Dead. And it's finally dead. And and we're all just destroying this terrain. Ah! Oh, avenge me! Alright. 3d6 shots into that dreadnought. That is going to be two, three, four, five, six shots. Six shots hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because I have a cannon S tucked right here. I do apologize about the shadowing. She is right there. Okay, so that is all hits. He is toughness eight right now, so on fours. And that is going to be... Three wounds at AP minus three, so three six up saves. Makes one of them, so two go through. Two D six damage. He's gonna take six. There is a chance that you live through this. Six. So six saves, and he's dead. Roll to see if he explodes. He does not. Ooh. So that dreadnought is taken care of. Aww. Charged. Next uh, exorcist is going to fire its exorcist missile launcher into that dreadnought and its heavy bolter into um, those demonettes up there. Actually, I think I might be out of range of that. Um, I, I don't think I have range on anything because I have, char I have a unit right here, which means your characters are safe. So I, I don't care. 3d3 shots at the Dreadnought is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 shots this time. Hitting on 3s. Rerolling 1s into a 2. That's not good. Wounding on 3s. That was actually surprisingly bad. So it's 2 wounds on my part. 2 6-up saves to this Dread right here. Nope. 2d6 damage. It's only going to be 4. 4, 6 up, feel no pains. He is dead. Does he explode? Uh, Please explode. Do you want to command point that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, he doesn't explode. So that dreadnought is also destroyed. Uh, and then he didn't blow up. And with that, one more dread is dead. As the last exorcist's missiles go screaming out into the Razorback. Okay. It's heavy bolter firing into randomness. 3D6, 3D3 shots, that's 367 again. Hitting on threes. Rerolling ones for having a cannon S nearby. That is all hits. Wounding on threes. That is all but two, so that is five wounds at AP minus three. So five six up saves for that Razorback right there. That is one save. That is four that cut through it. Four D6 damage. So that is, that is, that is way more than enough to kill it. Does it explode? Roll a D6. No, it does not. And that means the guys inside get it. So roll a D6 for each guy inside. Uh, let's see. At least A1. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Space Wolf One gun. <laughs> the Space Wolf dies. So we're going to set the demon ablaze in holy fire. We're going to use St. Junith's heavy flamethrowers as well as Celestine's heavy flamethrower. It's her sword swinging. It's amazing. 
3d6 hits, and we're gonna have, oh my god. Okay, so that's 15. Wounding on fives. That is actually not that many. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. It almost seems like Slanesh demands. I should have rolled these separately. I have to redo this because Junith can reroll once. I, I apologize about this. I am dumb. Wow. This was my fault. I, get I do apologize. Do apologize. So, Junith is going to be the orange ones. Celestine's going to be the white ones. So, that's 9, 10 instead. So. Okay, so the colored ones get to be re-rolled. This one does not. Okay, let's try to pick that out and drop it on the floor. All right, here we go. So Junith gets to re-roll the ones and get nothing. So that was a five, so that's one, two, three, four, five wounds. Only a difference of one. Any AP? AP minus one. So four and four are same. Yep. So two go through. Takes two damage. All right. All right, so with that, I believe I'm done shooting. So we're gonna go into charge phase. This unit's gonna charge this. We have no overwatch. Three, five inches is probably gonna make it. Let's just double check. That is gonna make it, okay? All right, we're gonna be dumb. This unit of sisters is gonna charge into the Terminators. Yeah. I am within double flamethrower range and storm bolter range. I'll just get back to you with the damage. 2d6. That's nine. Oof. Wounding on threes. Okay, wounding on threes. Oh, good. That is so bad for you. Yeah. And so good for me. It's not the worst. It looks like three. Three. Three four up saves. I will make one of them and two will die. And two die. So from the overwatch, three died. And now we're going roll and get a six so we should make it in there so now the repenti are going to charge in they are definitely going to make it with a 10 so now the mistress of repentance is going to charge she's going to make it so she's going to end up about right here and then we have rosalina charging in she does not make it ken and s kane charging in needing a 10 she does not make it Celestine and Junith are going to charge into there. Junith first. Oh, She's going to make it. Celestine is going to make it. Alright, missed the overwatch on Junith. Wait, oh, it rerolls ones. Missed. Okay. Uh, Celestine is going to hop down right there, but just for balance purposes, I'm going to keep them where they are. Yeah. I'm keeping them three inches away from him. Okay. That's the whole point of that. Alright. Uh, do I want to charge over here with anything else? No, that's all looking good. That's a Slaneshi Demon Prince, so I have to swing at that first now. Because that thing has the It Goes First, right? Uh, it actually does not have Quicksilver Swiftness. Okay. So we're going to try to carve up that, uh, that girl first. Pile in right there, and now the number of attacks is going to be insane. Oh, I accidentally pulled them out of range over here. I think I'm going to trail two back. Just for this exact reason. Just to make sure I'm still within the tail range. So, seven of them into combat. We have a bazillion attacks. Hitting on fours, uh, because there's still nine of us left. So we might not actually hit that well. And we are out of range of Celestine and Junith. Oh, that's a... that... And now we're strength 8 because of the tail. We're also getting plus 1 attack, so I have 7 additional attacks from the missionary. She's in a good position. Okay, these are the hits for that, which is adding me 4 more hits. And then, from that, we get 3 more wounds. So that is 3, 6... Nine, ten wounds on that Herald. I 
I have a sneaking suspicion she might not live. Ten saves. And no, she's dead. Yeah. Blech. There he goes. And then we will consolidate this way. Okay. And just piling up. Whoops, that's the wrong girl. Actually, make sure they stay back just a bit. Get off of each other's space. There we go. Next up, we're going to activate uh, mm -hmm. spending two to interrupt. No, Quicksilver Swiftness. Fiends are going to attack the tank. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Tail attacks. Okay. We're that's going one hand. And now... Strength five. On fives. That's mm -hmm. one wound. AP minus. I think it's minus three. Sixes. Nothing. So how much damage? D3. Oh, this might hurt. It's three damage. It sinks down to two wounds. All right, now for the normal attacks, I'm going to get to the actual damage. Dissecting claws now. Right, That's uh, really good for me. Mm -hmm. Now... Oh, that was a two. Oh, whoops. Yeah. All right. All right, strength five. Wounding on fives. It's one. All right, AP minus one. Four up save. Makes it. Gotcha. All right, back to you. Okay. So, Repentia against the Terminators over here. So I did forget about Zealot over here, but I'm not going to forget about it over there. So we have nine Repentia, and this is a ton of attacks, and we're going to try to take this. Okay, so nine of them. Actually, one more die, one fell. I also forgot to bring in my Seraphim. My Seraphim. I just completely forgot about them. Okay, so we have a bunch of hits, re-rolling to wound. And that it are re-rolling to hit, which is going to net us a few additional hits. And then we have all of this to wound. Wounding on threes, because these ones are only strength six. Because the magifier is over here. And I do get to re-roll ones because of the Mistress of Repentance. Because Mommy's very angry. Alright, so that is... Three misses, which is three, six, nine, eleven wounds with Repentia at AP minus two on Terminators. Okay, so you have two Storm Shields. So doing them, just roll against here. Yeah, and we're going to go ahead we'll start with the Black Templar. Okay. He dies first. So three up. I'll re-roll that one for being cocked. Okay, that's good. Next one. He's good. He's good. He's good. I'm nervous. He's dead. All right. Next storm shield. He is good. He's good. Oh no, he's good. He's good. He's got two more. He's dead. And then five ups. Uh, let me double check something. So four up instead. And he's good. So two Terminators died from that. Jeez. And then I'm going to activate these sisters right here. No, you're not. Ah! Activating the contorted epitome into the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the two tentacles. Two up. Rerolling the one. Okay. All right. Strength six. Wounding on fives. All right, now for the eight claw attacks. Oh. Watch this vehicle blow up in my face. Two up. All, right. all hit. All hit. All right, still strength six. Looking for fives. All right, this is AP minus four. This is AP minus one. Okay, the AP minus one on a four up. No, I fail it. Two damage apiece. Uh, so it's dead no matter what. Right. Actually... Do you want a fate point to re-roll it? No, it's fine. Does it explode? It does not. Oh. So the vehicle is destroyed. Five sisters got out here. And four sisters got out here. One died in the wreck. And the vehicle is removed. The contour of the epitome can consolidate. And it's going to go into them. 
I'm going to activate the sisters now. So my sisters over here legit just ran up and Superman punched a Terminator and killed it. Boy. What? Next I'm going to activate the whips. She's going to pile in over here. I don't know which one you're removing. So the mistress of repentance, she didn't do anything. She was too busy whipping her sisters into a frenzy, which St. Catherine, or Sister Catherine, just Superman punched a Terminator into oblivion. So with that, we have one more combat over here. Celestine is going to attack the Demon Prince. Six attacks, hitting on twos. She hits every single time. Strength seven, toughness six. Wounding on threes. Uh, she doesn't get the rerolls. But she does deal four wounds at AP minus three with her power sword. Alright, so in bolt time. Oh, well, it's um, a super power sword, does two damage a piece. Four saves. Did she. He just fell all of them? Yeah. So that's eight damage to him. Yeah, he did. So I'll see just kill him. Not, not even that strategy, I'm gonna save him. So I'm gonna go ahead and just consolidate just a wee bit. Just to look at that guy menacingly. And with that, we go ahead and end my second turn. Whoo, there is so much damn actually I still get to attack with these girls into that. We dealt three damage to the contort of the epitome. And over here, the Terminator is going to swing back. What is their target? The Repentia? Yeah. Probably the Repentia. It should be with the Repentia. Yeah. Okay, swing at the Repentia. Minus one to hit. Yep. Four ups. And that is going to be three hits. Wounding on twos. Uh, that is a cock dice. And that's two wounds so far. And that is two wounds. My faith is strong. Uh -uh. How much damage are they apiece? Uh, the three. D3? Or just three? So two damage. So what we're going to do is go like this. Let's see if we can avoid this damage. We avoid two of it, so two of our sisters fall. Actually, wait. Yeah, two of our sisters fall regardless. So one and two. And we're going to go ahead and pay three command points and have the Repentia swing again. Dropping us down to nine command points. So seven of them swinging. Let's try to grab all of these. Okay. Hitting on threes now because some of our sisters died and we're martyred lady. Rerolling because this still is the turn we charged. So we do get to reroll quite a bit of these. Actually... Way more than we should. Really thought I would have been more accurate, but whatever. There we go. Two misses. The rest hit. Okay, wounding on three plus. Yes, three plus. Rerolling ones to wound because of the mistress. Mommy didn't help. Okay, so that's three, six, nine. Four up saves. So nine saves on four pluses. And wow, did you just make almost all of them? That's a cock die. No, no, they're dead. Yikes. All right, so with that, the Terminators are eliminated. And we end our turn going into Demons and Death Watch, turn three. Because it is the start of my turn, and this unit, which is lost to model, is within six inches of the Infernal Rapturess. I roll a d6, and on a six, I get a fiend back. That's three, so no fiend back. Well, I have something cool too. I have three acts of faith to do. I well, dice to roll, nine. miracle dice. Okay. So I get a four, a four, and a one. I'm gonna spend a command point and reroll that one. I've got to do it. <laughs> so so far, we have four ones in our pile. End of movement phase. The fiends moved up slightly. Demonettes all migrated this way. The contorted epitome 
Actually, the Inferno Unwrapped dress moved over. All the demons moved up and over over this way. Demons came across the bridge. Over here, we had cultists move past and go after those sisters. The Dreadnought stood still. He moved up. Cultists moved over. Kill Team moved up. Zypher stayed still. Greyfax is out. Greyfax is out. You know, I always, I always supported her. You know, visitor fight. I was there. I was there for her. You were there. Good for her. <laughs> you know, her and Celestine, great couple. Broke my heart. <laughs> Gotta love it. So we have the two psychers out now. Let's see what you guys can do in the psychic phase. All right. Do you have any psychers left? One, two, two. Okay. Smiting Celestine. That's rude. Needs a four. He got seven. Okay. Junith is going to negate it on a... Um, now, is this a deny or what? A deny. Okay, go for it. Okay, get plus three. Five, six, seven, eight. I negate it. All right, now he's going to do Gift of Chaos on her. Okay. Goes off on a six, but he just needs five. He gets seven. This unit's going to attempt to deny. Alright, I'm going to spend a command point. I, I, I know it takes at least a wound, but you're not allowed to deny it. <gasps> it's a word bearer's thing, and it auto succeeds if it didn't already succeed. Ooh. Let's see. Malevolent co Covenant. Yeah, he takes one mortal wound after resolving the effects of the psychic power. Okay, so what so, are the effects of the psychic power? Let me grab my kill. Okay, so roll a d6 if you get a 3 or higher, okay. or 4 or higher. Uh, do, do, it has, yeah, it has to be greater. I get a command point that. Okay. So I'm, I'm down to one command point because that's strategy. Right. Alright, D3 plus three mortal wounds. Oh, that's gonna hurt her. That's five mortal wounds. Oof. She's it, down to one. I, the point's four I wonder five. how that would work because she would get right back up. I think it just. Rules huh. is written, they would both be there. Yeah. They'd fight to the death. Contort of the Epitome smiting. Alright, she just needs a five. So it's two smites so far. Five exactly. Do you want to try and um, deny that? Yes. A sister unit from over here is going to attempt to deny it. Gets a... Uh, do I want to command point reroll it? Hmm. It's going to be D3 mortal wounds. Yeah, go ahead. Alright. That's two, so two sisters fall. Alright, and then... So, like, is this all a squad, or...? Yes. Okay, then I'm gonna do Pavian of Slanesh. Okay. Alright, going off on, what was it again? So just to clarify, the Repentia Five. tried to negate that. It's a four, it does not go off. Okay. And, do do that's my Psychers. So, we got Psychic Powers over here. Yep, uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. Smite. Alright. No. Smite. Okay. That's a yes. I might be able to negate that. That's that's only D3. Go ahead. And that's onto the... Um, Oppressor. Yep. It's one. Down to seven. Damn. Might have heroes on the Dreadnought. It gets it. I'm going to try to negate it. So you got a seven at four, five, six, seven, so I do not negate it. Artemis is throwing a stasis bomb at the repressor. Okay, let's do it. Two up ballistic skill. Okay. Grenade one. That's a hit. Alright, and that does... If the attack hits, deal d6 mortal wounds to your target. Oh, wow. But okay. if I miss it... I take D6 to mortal wounds. <laughs> it's the old vortex grenade. That's six. It's down to a single wound. That's why I was hoping the smite would get it down to one. Dark Apostle throwing a crack grenade. All right, three up. That's a hit. That's a hit. It's Five. Five. Okay. No. Sorcerer using a frag grenade on Celestine. Three up. Right. He hits. That's... Winning on twos. Yeah, that's oh, you said frag. Never mind. Yeah, frag. Oh, that should have been D six shots. Well, my bad. Well, so five shots. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> Get around that easy piece. Three up. That is all but two. All right, wounding on fours. 
And that is two. All right, now we pee. Two, two up saves. So it seems just fine. All right. Gently close them. Okay, the Inferno and Wrap Dress from right there is going to Euphonic Blast this tank. Right, two, two, actually oh, advanced with the three, yep. Nope. Okay. Alright. But he's going to fire with the shell, the uh, fire round, which is Assault 2d6. Okay. And this auto hits? It does auto hit. Okay. Wait, the, uh, let me just double check. Yep, automatically hits targets. It is 2d6. 2d6, go ahead. That's going to be 11. Okay. Okay, let's go. What's the strength of this weapon? The strength of this weapon is six. Okay, wounding on fives. And that is two wounds, three wounds. Three four up saves. I'll make one of them. Does the tank explode? It does not. Ten sisters inside. And it looks like two of them die. Three of them die. Two girls got out here, five got out over there, and the tank is removed. Cultists are going to shoot into the Dominion squad. Mm -hmm. First. So we have 32 shots into the Dominions. Well, first the heavy stubber hitting on fives because she moved. Uh, one hit. Strength. What do you want, threes? Yeah. That's, That's a, a wound. wound. Three up save. She's good. All right, now. Okay, 32 shots. Four. That is a good chunk of hits. Now, wounding on fours. Ooh, that's a good amount. Seven saves on three plus. And we lose two sisters. So that squad is down to one two. sister. Which ones? These two. Okay. And where are the rest of the guns going? Uh, well, I was, and then those two are gonna fire into the last sister, and this guy's out of range, this guy's out of range. Uh, the frag cannon's going to kind of just hit over here. Uh, where's over here? There's three squads there. Uh, this one. Okay, into that squad of dominions. All right, so starting off. Alrighty, using uh, the normal shots, so yep. you can wound on twos. So that is, I couldn't even see that. It's two fours. Two hits. One thing. On threes, that's two wounds. Yep. Normal saves. Well, foul one. And this squad is dead. But in its death, it gives me a four. So that's another dice up here. Yep, into those. Two shots. That is a one and a three. Yep. So one hit. It's too far away from Artemis. And that is one wound. I don't know if I made that save. I don't know what the AP of your weapon is. That's one sister dead. Uh, do I want her to actually die? Yeah, I think it's fine. We'll take away a melt gun. Bolt gun into her. The storm bolter into what? And that's uh, one. Okay. That's for the bolt gun. Okay. That's two misses. And then Storm Bolter is four shots. Yep. And that is a cock dice for that two right there. Okay, that's three hits. Wounding on threes. That is one wound. Thanks. One three up save. I'm going to use an act of faith to automatically pass that. Makes sense. Just because I don't want to lose more sisters. So the twin heavy bolter is going to go into. Uh, the Rhino. The Rhino, not the Dominions? Uh, yeah, let's kill those Dominions. Okay. Six shots. That is all hits. Wounding on threes. And I already used an act of faith on them. And that is three wounds. Four up saves. We'll make two, one will die. So it brings that squad down to three members. Plasma cannon into the Dominions. D3 shots. It's three shots. 
Hitting on twos. Rerolling the one for Artemis. That is three hits. Wounding on twos. That is three wounds. Our faith is our shield. And we will pass two so far. We'll pass two. I'll take that. We did forget about a storm bolter, so it's going to go into those sisters. That is re-rolling one because of the Artemis. That's all hits. Wounding on threes. That is three wounds. Three three up saves. We'll make all three of them. So with that, we go into the assault phase. There's a lot of assaulting happening. Alright, so first up. These demonettes into Celestine. Okay, D6 shots. We get two. What's your range weapon? Flamethrower, double sword. sixes. That's two up. saves. Two dead. I get plus one for two against Yeah, so you need twos. You can't fail this. Seven. Okay. Sorcerer's charging into Celestine. He makes it. So, demon knights into these sisters. Okay, they can't. Uh, yeah, these four cannot fight back. Gotta make sure we keep right, those well, separate. Ten. Uh, they make it. So, fiends are charging in here. I am gonna use an act of faith on this unit, and I'm gonna use this six that I got to auto hit with a meltagon. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna use all my bolters first to try to kill that one that has two wounds. And from all of the Overwatch here, we lowered that thing down to two wounds and killed its friend. Now it has like a three inch charge. Hey, look, it makes it. Boop. Yeah, I guess to get in buffer so it fits. There we go. Right. And that was into both those units. Perfect. And yeah, that's me for charging. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and activate this character and counter charge. And do I have any other counter charges over here or over here? Okay. Any charging from you? Yeah, I'm charging uh, this squad into the uh, right now. All right, go right, ahead and roll. I forgot all about it over here, as always. The cultist can do so. So that's six, you're going to make it? Like we have ten cultists over here charging into the sisters. Yeah, that's just six. So we did two damage, but you made the saves, and the uh, kill team made it in over here. Cult is charged into the rhino. And then... It blew up. <laughs> All the, uh, take me sure, uh, measuring device. So... Yeah, these cultists aren't going to charge. They need to see what the Dark Apostle for now. Okay. So, I'm good. Alright, where are you going to choose to initiate first? Alright. Uh, First up, let's get Celestine out of the way. So the Demonettes into Celestine. Okay. Let's see, you killed two, so that means it'll be eight. So it'll be 16, 17 attacks. 17 attacks. Hitting, Hitting on, three. on threes. Strike three, wounding on, th on fours. That's a good amount of wounds. I'm going to use an act of faith to automatically pass the six up with a four, because she has a four up info. And then we have four normal ones, and this is gonna be risky, but we're gonna see if we can live through this. There we go. Threes. No, she's definitely dead. She she died three times over. Jeez. Does she get back up? Yes. Okay. So we're just gonna put her back up over here with all of her wounds, right up there. And I see at this point that means the sorcerer can't hit anything. Yep. Alright. So, next up, we'll get to the contorted epitome. Uh, shouldn't it be the charging ones first? Oh, that's right, the fiend. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'll make stuff. One more sister died to the fiend so far. Now the rest of its attacks. Three up. That is one miss, two misses. Alright. Went on threes. That is two. AP minus four. The AP minus four needs a six. No. And the normal one passes. So one more sister dies. So that is 
four sisters dead this turn. Two nets into the sisters now. The bazillion attacks. Hitting on threes. On threes. Because of the herald? Yep. Where is the herald? The contorted epitome. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, two heralds. And no Kumar. Shush. Alright. So do... One six so far. So six normal saves. Well, minus one saves. Which is going to kill three of them. And then one six up save. So it's four of them dead. So the squad is wiped out. And in their death, they give me a two. Hey, I'll take it. It's better than the four ones I have. All right, so. Demonette's consolidation. We have the cultists over here versus the uh, sisters of battle. Putting on fours. That's a good amount of hits. Even fours. Here we go. See if these sisters can live. Oh, they might be able to. Three saves. That is one sister dead. So, after piling in, we have two heavy thunder hammers going into it. They get shock of soul, two attacks base, so three attacks each. So that's six attacks. Yep, uh, yep. Hitting on fours. That is three hits. One guy was paying attention. I missed a, missed a giant tank in front of him. Wounding on threes. That is probably the white star. That is one wound. The Emperor protects. No, that, that is the complete opposite, Isaac. You're a bad dice, and I really need to throw you out. 36 damage. Now here's where you roll a six. Two. Oh, good. Down to eight. Over here, we're down one sister, but we didn't deal anything back. The Rhino did nothing back. Took four wounds. Over here, we're debating what to do. Catherine is going to, or Junith is going to swing. She has four attacks against that Chaos Sorcerer. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be three hits. T4. Woundsing on threes. She is seeing Junith and gets a reroll. And still can't hit. Right. Four up save. Two damage. Two damage. Alright, that brings him down to one wound. Alright. And Celestine came back. So now we have these attacks back. So, sisters with the tail of the warrior swung back. That is six saves you need to make. And that demon is no more, mm -hmm. as that one gets vaporized. We go ahead and pile in now. And just go right after this contorted epitome. Boop. So if they do that, can they hit back? Uh, this one was already involved in combat with them. Uh, the demon it's So the contorted epitome can actually attack them. Because right. it didn't attack anything. Alright, first the tentacles. Boop! Uh, two misses. Two misses, so now the claws. That is all but one. Yep, everything hits, so it's a straight up moving on threes. Okay, that is AP one and six. Four, AP minus one. So six up. I make the six up. So then we got four at four. Mm -hmm. And we'll lose two sisters. And with that, we come to the end of this turn. So I'm going to use an act of faith on this unit. And I'm going to use one of my ones to auto pass their morale. Okay, then we have that unit over there, which lost four. Six is ten, so unfortunately this unit does get destroyed. And then we have this unit here, which lost three. Six is fine. This unit right here, which lost one, is fine. <clears throat> um, right now stuck in combat. I think that's funny. And with that, we go on to Sisters, turn three. <sighs> so, end of movement phase. The Exorcist moved over so they can get line of sight on those demonettes. 
as well as just getting clearer line of sights for everything else. Over here, all of these girls stood still. These girls moved up and regained one of their sisters. These girls moved up and that unit regained one of their sisters. All of the characters moved up. Over here, these characters ran around. The Repentia ran up to try to deal with the Dreadnought. The Rhino is going to stay in combat, possibly. I think it's the best option right now because I can't really move it anywhere and they're stuck with it for a little bit. These two sisters moved up to try to deal with the Dreadnought. On the other side, Celestine moved over to deal with those Demonettes. The Rhino and the sisters moved up. The, repen the Hospitaller brought another sister back. Over here, these sisters lined up to deal with those Demonettes. The Repentia are running over the crates to deal with their fallen... Well, to deal with those creatures. I forgot about this squad, so I'm going to go ahead and move them up. So they're just going to move six and probably end up there. These sisters moved up, and that ends the movement phase. So now we're going to go into the shooting phase. So over here, these two just shot and killed two sister, uh, two demonettes. demonettes there. The rest shot into them, dealing 10 damage. Let's see if they actually caused the wounds themselves. So it looks like they saved quite a bit, but... Six go down. And six demonettes explode back into the nothingness that made them. So these sisters are going to put their two storm bolters into them, and the three regular bolters into them. So it's six shots here into those four. Hitting on threes. And that is not as good. That means that unit is going to live. And uh, wounds twice. Right. Two saves on that unit. And one when lives. This one? Yep. The two storm bolters have eight shots into them. The one thing I don't like about Martyred Lady is trying to keep track of all of the units yeah. and keeping track of their number. I might start getting like little markers to go along with them to see which ones are activated for the two up. Right. Because I think that makes a lot of sense. Actually, they're within range of Junith. So that is three, six. From that unit to that unit. Mm -hmm. Potentially. Wiped out five of them. All right. What you in? This one. All right. Five. Six shots into the contort of the epitome with pistols. Mm. We're gonna try to kill it with pistols because we're jerks, and we're not gonna hit with those pistols because we're too distracted by wiggly parts. And I think that thing's toughness four, right? Five. Okay, no wound. Yeah. Next up, we have the storm bolter from this rhino into this unit. Mm -hmm. We have four shots. Hitting on threes. That's going to be three hits. Wounding on threes. That's going to be two wounds. Not enough to take the unit out yet. One, One dead. Celestine's going to shoot into them. D6 shots, four shots into the demonettes on top of the building. Wounding on threes. That is four wounds. Celestine's holy orb burning them as they stand. Three, Three of them death. die. Next up, one of the units of retributors are going to shoot into that white unit right there. Okay, we have eight. Hitting on threes. That is going to miss. That is going to miss. That is going to miss. And that is going to miss. So we get quite a few hits. Wounding on threes. That is going to be really bad at two wounds. Two saves. Makes one. One dead. And then we're going to take the second unit and do the same thing. So two things I forgot that, um, yeah, I forgot the psychic phase for Inquisitor Rosalina, and I also forgot to bring in my, my Sephirim, so I did. 
Uh, just really quickly, they're not really going to make too much of a difference because I haven't gotten over to this part of the table just yet. Mm -hmm. So, continuing shooting and everything, we took the heavy bolters and shot into them, dealt quite a bit of damage. Now we have one more heavy bolter squad, and this one is probably going to shoot into the same squad. So, after a whole bunch of heavy bolter fire, we neutered that squad down to three people, or three creatures. The Seraphim are going to shoot into this unit. So where this squad couldn't do it, the next squad shot into them and destroyed them. So we have two melted guns going into the Dreadnought. Actually, you know what? We're going to put those two melted guns into the Razorback. That's unfortunate. Although that, that does make sense because it's got more guns. Hitting on twos. Wounding on threes. That is one wound. Yep, one wound. Uh, you know what? On the off chance that I can actually deal more to it, I'm going to spend a command point, go down to seven, and I'm going to reroll to wound. And I wound. So that's two wounds. Two six-up saves. Neither of them make it. Negatory. So, you know who I need for this? Pablo and Isaac. Oh no. Alright, let's see what they roll. And of course, Isaac always rolls low, so seven wounds, oh. leaving that razor back down to two wounds. Yikes. So I remembered why I didn't actually do my uh, craziness with uh, Rosalina during the psychic phase. It's because the demons can cause me to peril on 2d6 if they match. Matching d6s. There we go. Brain is working. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> These three sisters just shot into the Razorback and destroyed it. Does it explode? You may not want it to explode right now. Oh, I saw the six. I saw the six. I saw the six too. The sisters here shot into the cultists and dealt with five of them. Or is it six? Yeah, I think it was six. Okay. Sisters, what is our target? There is a foul dreadnought. Bring it down in the Emperor's name. Where are you? There you are. So the first exorcist is going to fire. Actually, we're going to fire with this one first. And it's going to go into the dreadnought with the big gun. And then the heavy bolter is going to go into them. The heavy bolter into the squad of two is going to hit twice and wound once. So one save. They made the save. Three, three shots into the Dreadnought. That is going to be... Wow, five. Okay. Hitting on fours because we moved. And that is going to be three. Uh, toughness eight. Toughness eight still. So one wound. AP minus three, so a six up save. Does not make it. D6 damage. It's going to be four, four feel no pains, six up, and he takes all of it. The next exorcist is going to fire its big giant missile into the him, and then fire into that. Can we see it? Can we see it? Can we see it? Can we see anything over there? No, it doesn't look like it. So we're going to fire into those cultists. Three shots. Three, six, seven, eight. So five, six, seven, eight. Hitting on fours. Rerolling ones. Actually, no, not rerolling ones. I forgot to move the cannon S. Uh, there was a three in there. So wounding on fours. That is going to be two wounds on the Dreadnought. Two six-up saves. Uh, Reroll that one for being cocked. That's two that go through. Two D6. That is five. Should be able to bring this thing down. How many? Five. Sixes. And it is destroyed. Does it explode? More like a dead knot. 
It does not. So the Dreadnought goes down. And the last one is going to turn its... Oh, it's going to turn its gun. And it is going to put it into Zypher. Strictly that guy right there. <laughs> Heavy Boulder into the Cultists. Three shots into that one guy. It's two, four, five, six, seven. Hitting on fours. That's one miss. Wounding on twos. That is four wounds. AP minus. Four six ups saves the Zypher live. The how many? Four six ups. <laughs> this is Here we dead. go. And he's dead. Well, he's right one of them. And he just gets rained on by organ pipes. All that's left is the shoulder pad. So the Repentia over here are going to charge uh -oh. into this dude guy. I don't know who he is, but we're charging into him. And his two little buddies. And we're going to make it. I, I'm throwing a frag grenade in Overwatch. Go ahead. Right, let's see, that's six oh, shots. I heard 16, and I'm glad I'm call a little bit BS on that. Right. Uh, one grenade hit makes it through, wounding on a four. Yep. That is a four, that wounds. Okay. Uh, she doesn't make it, and then a five up ignore. No, so she gets hurt and dies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, make it into combat. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, not yet. We're gonna... Yeah, these two girls are gonna charge these three cultists. They're gonna make it. They do have... Right. Overwatch. Yep. All of their shots missed. Next up, we have... Uh, what do we... What? Do, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? How do you want to do it? You know what? Rosalina wants to charge in. She does. Into the Marines. Oh, let's go! That is a four, five, six, seven. I gotta measure that. She makes it in. So she's gonna get it all the way over to here. And then we're gonna have Ken and S. Kane charge along with her. That is a 12 inch charge. Yeah, she's definitely gonna be booking it. Yeah, she's definitely Naruto running. And then the sisters are going to charge. And they're not going to make it. Do I want to re-roll that? Yeah. How far do I need to roll to make it into combat? At least a six. Okay, at least a five. Oh, wait. Did we actually make it then? From her base to there is less than six inches. So, yeah, we make it. Barely, but we make it. Okay. Okay. Over here, these Repentia are going to charge into the Contort of the Epitome as well as the Demonettes. Need at least a four, they make it with a seven, so all of them are going to leap down and get into combat. Yeah. So, I'll probably put them here. Get into the layer here. So, to maintain coherency, we have this weird daisy chain. Uh, oddly enough, these two can fight, this one can't. Uh, let's see, what else is going to charge? You know what? These sisters are going to charge those demon nets? No, because they can still kill me. Nope, doing it. Uh, Emperor protects. Let me just fire my Avenger Gatling cannon. <laughs> let's what? go this way to avoid that contort of the epitome. Uh, the Inferno and Raptor S. Celestine's going to charge these demons. Uh -huh. She makes it. Actually, she's going to charge the demon and this dude guy that's in front of Junith. Okay, and that's going to be it. So we're going to start with the Repentia. Are you sure that's out of heroic intervention? Oh no, you can heroically intervene. Yeah, I'm heroically intervening then. Yeah, I kind of oopsie daisied my bad that one. Yeah. Well, I accidentally killed them. Yeah. Emperor protects. No. So, Repentia activating first, and they're going to go into these demonettes. 
So Repentia went in and did the 11 wounds to the demonettes. Let's see if they kill him. Yeah. Yeah, they're dead. So the demonettes are wiped out. Okay, so the Contort of the Epitome is going to charge in. Oh, actually, I'm going to do... Not charge in, but attack. So, I'm going to do the two tentacles. Can she hit the Repentia? Uh, they're... Yeah, why not? All right, so two tentacles. Hang on, let me just do this. Okay, thank you. I'm right. just... So we did just pile in. So now the uh, tentacles are going into the sister Repentia. Hitting on twos. That's both hits. Wounding on twos. That is two wounds. The Emperor protects... How much damage? Two apiece. I think I'll triple check. Okay, so the two that I found. Fives. I save one and oh, one three sister. Apiece, but... Oh, okay. Hold up. Okay, they both die. Mm. So two Repentia do fall in combat. <laughs> now the claws are going into these girls. All hit. Alright, we need on twos. Oh, this is bad. It's all but one. All right, and oh, let's see. No sixes, so AP minus one. Seven saves on four plus, and we lose three sisters. So we'll go ahead and pull this one, this one, and this one. Celestine's gonna swing into the demonettes. Mm -hmm. She has six attacks hitting on twos. No rerolls, unfortunately. Wounding on twos. That is four wounds. Four invulnerable saves. Makes one of them. Three demonettes die, leaving only one demonette left. Oh, two demonettes left. That one just did a flip. All right, who's in attack over here? Uh, I'm gonna have the Enrapturess attack these sisters. Yep. All right, she has two attacks. Okay. The twos. That's two hits. Two hits. Strength five. Wounding on threes. That is two wounds. Right, two this, sixes. This one's minus oh, one six. four. This one's minus one. Two Emperor protects. Six up. Make it. And the other one? Uh, what was the AP of the other one? Minus one. Okay, so one sister dies. I'm going to pick these sisters now to attack that unit. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, I couldn't kill... I cannot kill demonette squads. No. Nope. I can lower them down to one creature. One or two creatures. But that's it. So, your attack's back. Well, we're just going to let the demonette strike back. Okay, so this one here. Yep, that's the Luris, So she has three. Hitting on threes? Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, no, I don't think she has a strike buff, so just fours. And that's two. Yep, might be minus one. Fours. Make both. Alright. And then I get to pick another unit, and I'm going to pick a Canoness Cane. So she's going to go ahead and pile in and get over here, and she's going to attack. Yeah. So she has the Iron Surplus, so only four ups will wound her. Mm. So four attacks. She's going to hit every single time. Strength is six, I believe. I can check in just a second, but wounding on threes regardless. That is going to be two wounds. Alright. So, individually on the Storm Shield, How the many? first one. Uh, two. He's good. And then another three up. He's good. And now the Demonettes into Celestine. Uh, they uh, miss. <laughs> All but twice. Alright. Strength three. <laughs> Wounding on fours. That's two. That's one wound. AP minus one. Three up. She's good. She's going to act and go in between these guys. Yeah. There we go. Hardcore. So, Inquisitor Rosalina Lockwood is going to swing into that unit. Since she is using Kotiaz's rules, she has Kotiaz's hammer. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. That is all but one. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and faith and command reroll. Is that cocked? Yes. 
That is four wounds. I'm down to six command points. And do you have to do these one at a time? Yep. First one is a pass. Second one is a pass. Third one is a pass. And fourth one, he's finally can dead. I, can I use a command point? Yes, you can. Oh, wait, did uh, you use a faith point, uh, command point reroll this turn? This phase? Okay, go ahead. Let's pass. Yes. All right, so next up, the sisters will go. So unfortunately, even after piling in, we didn't do enough damage there. In fact, we killed nothing. So next up, we have the sister Repentia, and they're going to go ahead and pile in. Get as close as they can to this guy. Okay. So we managed to hit him five times, wound him five times. Oh, five times? And let's see if we actually kill him. All right, four up in bowl. Two damage a pop, and he is dead. Yeah, he was. So yeah, yeah. And that is him gone. And they will go ahead and consolidate into these guys more. Hey, Aaron, how you feeling? If you charge into two units and kill one, can you still consolidate? Uh, you technically... Mm, no. Yeah, the dark, uh, the dark I forgot. cycles are their own dudes. Yeah, they're two different units. I thought they were one unit. One that was unit my bad. disciples, yeah. That was my bad. Okay. Alright, so hold up. Dark disciples. Do I have any Good. other... I do have a few, few more attacks. So... We have Junith left for all of our attackers. And this is going to be four attacks. Hitting on twos. That's going to be all hits. Wounding on threes. It's going to be two wounds, AP minus two, or AP minus one. All right, so four up. So you can kill him, and he is dead. Yep. Yeah. And then Junith will go ahead and consolidate into them. So, at the end of combat, there's still a few attacks to be made back. Uh, go ahead and do those. Let's see, so first up we're going to be those two cultists over there. Yep. Alright, so our champion has... So, next up we have the Death Watch. The cultists did, well, nothing. No. So, <laughs> let's have this sh that shield, let's start with the power swords, uh, have that shield guy uh, give Rosalina talking to. So, yep, you can get the shield in there. You can get both the heavy thunder hammers in there. Yeah. So, the shield. So. Three attacks. And that is one miss, two hits. Wounding on threes. That is one wound. So, interesting thing about her, she doesn't occupy a spot in my list. So, but she's still an HQ choice. But she never takes up an HQ. But her data sheet says HQ yeah. choice. Does that count? Does tactical objective count for that? Because I have the uh, book. I would say so. Look, my dark disciples, they don't take up a slot, but they're elites. Fair enough. Yeah, well, yeah. So it's two wounds? Yep. Two four up saves. I'll make both of them. Jeez. Two heavy thunder hammers, six attacks. Hitting on threes. That's all hits. Oof. Wounding on twos. She might die to this. Okay, that's five. Oh, yep, five. Okay, so five saves. She will make almost all of them, and I'm going to command point one of them. Dropping us down to five. Oh, jeez. Oh, she takes damage. D6. Yep. A six, yes. and she is dead. All right, I'm going to spend three command points going down to two, and I'm going to have my Repentia attack again. Oh, jeez. And we're going to try to take down that Contort of the Pitomy. Uh. Down to, once this thing decides to rotate, two. So, Repentia have three attacks each right now. You spent a command point to lower my attacks by one. So it still gives me this many attacks. Hitting on threes. Rerolling to hit because of Zealot, because I did charge this turn. The reason I'm hitting on threes is because of Martyred Lady. 
So that's all of that. And wounding. Can you put those in my hand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Now wounding on two. What's his toughness? Toughness five. Wounding on threes. So we got quite a few wounds. So it's three, six, nine, ten wounds. So let's see. We... You made a lot of saves. All right. So that's what it did. That's ten wounds on it, and it explodes. Yeah, if only. Okay, end of phase. We lost three sisters here. So three plus one gives me a not only a pass, but a six for my yay. My pool got a six instead of a one. We're about to find out. This one's going to be a 2, plus 5 is 7, they're good. Oh, you don't have a command Over command. here, we lost 1, we can't fail. Okay, they're good. They're good. This is good. This is good. All those sisters are fine. Uh, those two sisters are fine. They lost their sisters last turn. The Repentia lost, if they have rolled a 6, they would have lost one more. And with that, we end the turn going into demons. And, well, uh, actually, no, we oh, need morale. One. Nope, that one's gone. Alright. This, well, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 1, 2. Okay. Nothing mm. happens. Now, I, this unit right here? This unit lost like 7, so please roll a 1. Roll a 1, I get d6 back. Ah. <laughs> Another one. I get four demons back in that squad, so holding in there, chief. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, the that squad. All right, lost, lost seven. seven. So roll the one. Four plus seven equals eleven. Their leadership is it's like what was it? seven. So eleven. That's five. That's four. They're gone. This unit here. Uh, this one. Yep, lost. Eight, it looks like. Uh, like Actually, it only lost six this yeah, turn. Six, I was gonna... No, four this turn. Roll the one, I get d6 back. Yep. One comes back. <laughs> I got this! <laughs> Alright, and I think that is it for you. When it comes to them shenanigans. Alright, so Wait, with I'll that... I'll hold up, uh, that one cultist unit over there. Oh yeah, they lost a lot. They lost like eight of them. They're good. Yeah, they're good. No, that's ten. Uh, yeah, okay, they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. Uh, the disciples of the cultists. The cultists. cultists. Yeah. Okay. And that is it for morale. Alright, now hold up. Let me check something. Oh, this is past morale, but like... Because this is at the start of my turn. Alright. I roll a d6 for each of those. Oh, let me skip to your turn real quick. Hey, it's the start of your turn. I'm gonna roll first. <laughs> I get these as miracle dice. That's all sixes. Because I got a building. Game from Rapture Rest, roll a d6 for each unit. On a six, they each get a unit back. So first one. And that was that yeah, one? Yeah, that was that one. Okay. And the other one? All right, so just one demon. Here's, the, here's the thing. All right. Here's End of the movement phase. Literally all of that blob moved over. And over here, these demonettes moved up. Who would have guessed? So the librarian smot into, well not the librarian, the Greyfax okay. smotted into the sisters there. Yeah, smotted. Smot. Well, the librarian's not going to smot into the Repentia. But are you smot or dumb? Gets up, goes Nine. Off. Yep. D3. Oh, uh, uh, do they not get to deny? Uh, they could if you rolled low enough. Okay. The highest I can deny is... Okay, one sister. Uh, she has a five-up save. Five-up, uh, feel no pain. She doesn't. Okay. She dies. Blah. Okay. Alright, going into shooting. Alright, we're going to start off with the uh, Hellfire Extremist. Uh, that's Assault D6. Okay. So this is with the Hellfire Flamer. Six. And uh, that's one, two, three. Oop. Wounding on twos. That is all of them. Okay, let's see. So we have six saves of six plus. 
We'll make none of them. And then we have a five plus feel no pain, which we will make almost all of to die. So, oh wait, you can't shoot them. They're in combat. Really? Yes. See, these two, they're in combat. Oh, well then that's my shooting phase. Well, duty cakes. Yeah, that's my shooting phase. So we're just gonna redo that and have this shooting go in into this squad or the uh, Seraphim. So we redid the shooting phase. Everything here shot into this sister unit and did nothing. Combat phase. So what's charging here? Uh, well, first Artemis. Okay. Needs a two inch. He's gonna make it. Wee boop. Uh, He's got his buddy's power sword up his buttocks. Uh, chaplain. Okay. That's gonna make it. I, I refuse to let the Xenophase go, blade go up, unused for four games, so, <laughs> like, three games. So they're charging. Okay. Unleash the Mountain Dew blade. That is definitely going to make it with the 12. So let's make sure he gets in here. I refuse to let this... All right, everything made it into combat here. So to no one's surprise, the Repentia got wiped out, but they give me a six. Yikes! All righty, so... We have a few more attacks going in. Yep, so we're going to start off with the uh, Heavy Thunder Hammers. And these going into the Rhino? Right. Yep. Okay, four okay. attacks. Only four attacks. Oh. oh. So, four attacks. That is all but one hit. Wounding on threes. And that is two wounds. Six up save for the Rhino itself. And that is going to make one, take one. So D6 damage, which is three, down to three. Uh, I get the vets are swinging in, four attacks with power swords. That's all hits, looking for fives. That's two wounds, three. two, uh, yeah, three. Looking for six up saves. We're gonna make two of what them. The and go down to two wounds. Two hits from the normal vanguard. And no wounds. The rhino lives. And with that, we're gonna call this game because I, I still have a full unit of sisters. I have two full seraphim units. I have another squad here. I have the ability to resurrect multiple sisters. I have 15 sisters up here and I have three exorcists uh, over here. Like, at most, I'm just gonna kill these four. Yeah. yeah. And then consolidate into them, but I would counter charge you. Yeah, like it's and it's yeah. theoretical, but not in a decent time. Like not without going to like turn seven. Sisters are crazy, man. Yeah, sisters are kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, but I hope you enjoyed this game. This, Aaron, you are far too tall for my house. Yeah. Yikes. Sisters are intense, insane, and so so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle report as much as I enjoyed playing it. As always, be sure to check out all the links in the description down below. Tell me what you think about the um, Hospitaller conversions that I did. I want to hear your thoughts. As always, check out my Patreon. It goes a long way to helping out the channel. As always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. I love you guys.